Good morning. Um, you're welcome again, people of God. You know, yesterday I did a vlog and um, I actually sang in it, and no one has even told me, no one has told me yet they love the singing. But I was looking, you know, I, I listened to the vlog over and over again, and I just loved it. I, I loved the song, I loved my singing. I don't know, but I just loved it. Uh, so now the music plays on me, probably in this season. And you know something else that I love? I love hymns. I love hymns. And, well, it's not just me. I love hymns. Jesus loves hymns. Um, every Christian who is a, a Christian, they love hymns. And I'll tell you why in a bit. So today, what we're going to be speaking, we love hymns. Yeah, we do. <laughs> so, um... I'm going to start with this first hymn. I've been singing it over and over and over again. And I'm not planning to stop yet. So let's dive in. There is a name I love to hear. I love to sing its word. It sounds like music in my ear. The sweetest name on earth. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. It tells me of a Savior's love who died to set me free. It tells me of His precious blood, the sinner's perfect plea. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. So, oh, how I love Jesus because he first loved me. Because he first loved me. You know. One thing about hymns is that they speak, they, they, they speak to your soul, they speak to your spirit, like they speak truth. I'm not saying most of our contemporary songs today don't, don't speak truth and speak your faith, but you're going to have to sieve them, you know. Some of them are just, I don't even have a name for it. Some of them are... are we have had gracious songs in our generation, you know, songs that, that move the spirit. Uh, but something I know about hymns, they go through the ages. They go through the ages. Jesus sang him, his disciples sang him, Christians over time, they have sung him. They know it. We keep on singing hymns. And, and, and it does something. It connects you to the faith of everyone who has gone ahead of you. It, it, it speaks to who we really are, sincerely, like this hymn. Oh, how I love Jesus. I do love Jesus. I love him so much. But you know what? Not of my own accord. Not because I'm a good person. Not because I am loving in the first place. I love him. Why? Because he first loved me. The Bible says, while we were yet sinners, he came and he died for us. And guess what? We're not sinners anymore. Now we are saved by grace. We are saved by grace through faith. But even now, we are, we are walking and stumbling. We are falling and, and standing. And he still loves us. Oh, how we love Jesus. Not because we are loving people, but because he first loved us. This is, this is so true. This is the word of God. This is 
our reality. This is this is showing our indebtedness. Indeed, now we have the ability to love because he loved us first. I love this hymn. You can check it out on net and sing and, and, and any other hymn. You know, for you, many other hymns could speak to you. You know, I I I really, really, really love hymns. This one I love exceptionally. Uh, one line I'm not gonna forget to hint. The second the second stanza says, the last part of it says, This name Jesus, it tells me of his precious blood, the sinner's perfect plea. In other words, we were sinners. And it's not just that we were sinners. We could even if we realize that we were sinners and we want to say, Oh God, please forgive us. The thing is that God is merciful, but he's also just. The just recompense for sin is death. So, why we would have said, God, we are sorry. Still, that sin had to be paid for. Still, the justice of God demanded that that sin had to be paid for. So, you're sorry, you're not sorry, it has to be paid for. That's exactly what Jesus did. He came and he paid for us he paid he died on our behalf so this stanza says he tells me of his precious blood the sinner's perfect plea so now when i come before god i don't just say i'm sorry i say i'm sorry by the reason of the blood of jesus so now both his mercy and his justice are satisfied his mercy is that he wants to forgive me his justice is that he has to he has to he has to punish me for what I have done. But now because I come in the name of Jesus, I come pleading the blood of Jesus. He says, indeed, that blood of Jesus satisfies. It satisfies the requirement. And so I am let go. And so I go free. Oh, how I love Jesus. His blood is the perfect sinner's plea. I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. So, um, <clears throat> another hymn. There are so many hymns. There are just, there are just so many. <laughs> okay, but this one is very, is very, um, is very popular. But even in its popularity, every day it speaks, and it's actually speaking so much to me right now at this point in my life. I do have so, so many challenges, but you know what? I just count my blessings. I may have challenges, but I count my blessings. I'm alive. I am healthy. I have a, a, a God-fearing, loving husband. I have a beautiful son who's growing up in the fear of the Lord. I am, I am safe. I am protected. I have plenty to eat and to spare. I am a blessing to my generation. I, there is so much. I have a relationship with God. I can come into his presence anytime I want and I'm accepted. There is believe you me when you begin to count your blessings all of your challenges will fade they will seem like nothing so you already know that him when upon life's bellows you are tempest when you are discouraged thinking all is lost count your many blessings name them one by one and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Ah. Uh, I'll take one more stanza. I'll take stanza three. I love that stanza. When you look at others with your lens and gold, think that Christ has promised you his wealth untold. Count your many blessings money cannot buy. Your reward in heaven, nor your home on high. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. 
Count your blessings, see what God had done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. And it always surprises me what the Lord has done. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Whatever be the issues of your life, whatever be the challenges at the moment, listen, sit, count your blessings. Count your blessings. And, and, and do yourself a favor. Don't begin to count the things you can see. Those things are mainly peripheral. Count the things you cannot see. I am saved. You know how many people are in this world? You know how many profess to be Christians? You know how many are really Christians? You know how many have a relationship with God? I am so privileged. I am so privileged. I count my blessings. I count my blessings. The Lord has blessed me indeed. And he has made me a blessing. Oh, I am grateful. Yeah, I love him. I told you. Told you. They speak to you. They speak your faith. Uh, the last one I'm going to speak about today. I love this hymn. I do love it. I love other hymns, but I do love this hymn. It pays to serve Jesus. And I, I exceptionally love this hymn because uh, it's not so much what we hear in our assemblies today. And I am so particular about uh, the, the way that uh, uh, Christians have drifted so much from when I from when I give my life to Christ like um, over just maybe 15 between 15 and 18 years ago up until now there is a huge drifting believe you me a huge drifting from just basically loving God serving God following him doing what he asks to this Christianity that says, uh, I'm going to have this. I'm going to collect this. Uh, oh, look at me. I'm shining. Oh, look at me. Look at me. My Bentley. My Bentley is coming. I'm moving into my house. I'm, you know. It, it, it's, so, it's, so, it's so different a Christianity. Just a few years ago. How much more? Centuries ago. But I love hymns. Because they bring back to your consciousness exactly what our faith is. They explain to you exactly what the faith of the people who have gone before you, what faith they had, what, what the definition of your faith was. They show us the ancient path that you might work in it. It pays to serve Jesus. It pays to serve Jesus. I speak from my heart. He'll always be with us if we do our part. There's not in this wide world can pleasure afford. There's peace and contentment in serving the Lord. I love him far better than in days of yore. I'll serve him more truly than ever before I'll do what he bids me whatever the cause I'll be a true soldier I'll die at my post how rich is the blessing the world cannot give I'm satisfied fully for Jesus to leave Though friends may forsake me and trials arise, I'm trusting in Jesus, his love never dies. I'll love him for better than in days of yore. I'll serve him more truly than ever before. I'll do what he bids me, whatever the cost. I'll be a true soldier, I'll die at my post. I'll be a true soldier, I'll die at my post. He pays to serve Jesus. 
something about this hymn. It reminds us we are soldiers of Christ. We are not just any kinds of people. We can live our lives anyhow. We are under a command. Our commander-in-chief is Christ. We are soldiers. We do as we are told. We go where we are told to go. We, we, we live as we are told to live. We don't live how we want to. We don't, we, we don't do what we want to. We do what he asks us to do. And guess what? The circumstances notwithstanding. The trials notwithstanding. Not, not, not minding the bullets flying past. Not minding the bombs that are going off. Not minding the, the snipers. Not minding whatever it is that, could be, that, could, that, that you could count as trials and temptations. And circumstances of life. We are soldier. I will be your true soldier of Christ. I will die at my post. Oh, that line gets me. That line gets me. In wealth and in poverty. In, in, in plenty and in lack. In, in suffering and, 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 and in, in abundance. I'll be a soldier. I'll die at my post. In popularity or in no popularity. Whether they like me or they don't. Whether friends forsake me or friends come around. Whatever it is. I'm a soldier. I will stand where I am. I will put on the whole armor of God. I will do the work he has sent me to do. I will live like he has asked me to live. I will stand at my post. I will die there. This is huge. This is huge. Not like the mentality of Christians of today. Everything easy. You know what? Everything cannot be easy. Sometimes it is not easy. When it is not easy, when it is easy, we are yet standing. Why? We are soldiers. We will die at our post. The Lord help us. As we sing these hymns, let them indeed penetrate into our hearts and our lives, our consciousness and our unconsciousness, that we are soldiers of Christ. We will do as we are told. We will live as we are told. We will go where we are asked to go. We will stay at that post we have been assigned to and we will die there. We will tarry there. If Jesus tarries, we will die at that post. The Lord help us to indeed be good soldiers of Christ. Brothers and sisters, friends, this is why I love hymns. They speak truth. They remind you of the ancient path. The Lord help us to find the path of, of life, to continue to walk in the shadow, to do His will, to stand as soldiers of Christ in our generation, in our lifetime, to stand at our post, to die at our post, because indeed it pays to serve Jesus. The Lord help us and bless us all in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you very much. Go dust your hymn book and sing hymns. God bless you. Bye-bye.